Hey, what's up? Today, we're doing a Tinder video. We haven't done this in a while. This is where we look at stuff on Tinder. People who aren't very good at Tinder. Tinder is a place where you can find love. Where you can find other stuff too. You could also just go on there and test out your pickup lines. Or you could just go on there and gross women out by just being yourself. It's really just up to you and who you are as a person, but let's just get into the video. This is your bad at Tinder, let's do it. Anna, 20. Before anything, please ask yourself, am I tall? And if your answer is, I think I'm tall enough, or I'm average, or I believe I'm taller than you, please swipe left. Let's not waste each other's time because even if you have a great heart, it won't count. <laughs> oh, and I'm an amazing human being who is kind and loving to all humans and I don't judge. But I'm also brutally honest, sorry in advance, but as you can tell, I'm a normal and simple woman. What? You can't just say you're a great human being and then it's true, okay? That's not how the world works. And you can't be like, oh, I don't judge people. But if you're too short, then you're too stupid for me. So even if they are the greatest person in the world and they have a great heart, but if they're like a little bit too short, then you you just can't see past it. It's so sad that there's so many people out there that are like, height really matters. I understand, like, you don't really want someone shorter than you, but does everybody have to be 6'8"? I mean, I'm only 5'9", or 5'10". I tell, I tell people 5'10". I'm 5'10", actually. I think there's a video I did where I was like, I'm not short, and I, I put 5'10". 5'10". 5'10". Supposed to say six foot. Oopsies. I'm pretty sure I'm 5'9 though, now that I I padded it by a little bit, okay? Okay, alright? I'm 5'9. Alright, the truth comes out. There was also a video I did one time where uh, I have two friends and they're both 6'6. Six, six. That's how big they are. And I did a video one time, it was like a reaction video to something, and I was standing in between these two guys and it made me look like I was so short. And everyone's like, damn, how small is Fluffy? No, they're just two of my most gigantic friends, okay? It made me look like a tiny person. This person's name is Five Months Left in Jail, 27. How did you get a cell phone in jail? Oh, well, I I guess there's where there's a will there's a way where, where there's a butthole there's a way i figure most people just keister things into jail right where'd you hide your cell phone in my butt crack the guards know it's in my butt crack they just don't care they don't want to get in there well at least he's being honest about the fact that he's in jail apparently there's a lot of girls out there that are gonna go for people in jail or in a lot of guys that'll go for girls in jail because there was a whole reality series about it like I can't even remember what it was, like Love in Jail or something. I watched the whole series, it was really interesting. It was like about their significant others getting out of jail after they've been dating while they were in jail for a long time. You know, check it out. I didn't tell you the name of it, so you can't, but check it out. Brit, 19, don't ask me for a threesome. If I wanted to impress two people in one night, I'd ask to meet your parents. See, most people go with the disappoint two people in one night, but she's very full of herself. If I wanted to disappoint your parents in one night, I'd sleep with both of them. If I wanted to disappoint two people in one night, I'd sleep with your parents. I'm just trying to think of other ways you could spin this. The Turkey Whisperer. I don't know what your name is. It's the Turkey Whisperer. Look at him, he's having a real moment with this turkey. He can read the turkey's thoughts, actually. He knows exactly what this turkey is thinking, and it's thinking gobble. Gobble, gobble. I just picture this guy like, gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, gobble. The turkey says he's hungry. He wants food. He also wants you to stop staring at him in that weird way you do while kind of like rubbing the inside of your shirt. Here's a talented person. Allie, 18. I will literally bend over backwards and turn my life upside down for you. That's just talent right there. That's impressive. She's a catch, okay? I'm not even impressed by the flexibility of just the fact that you're holding a basketball like that. Now I want you to do a backflip and shoot it perfectly into a net. This one seems a little fake. Like, are you really this girl, this talented girl, or are you gonna show up and it's gonna be like Steve and he's gonna be like, hey, just wanted to see if you wanna play some one-on-one -on -one basketball. Gotcha. 
Tricked you. Come on, one on one. Here's a little uh, Tinder chat. Picture. Can I call you epilepsy? Cause I wanna choke on your tongue. Bro, my mom died of a seizure because of epilepsy. I am so sorry. You said the one thing you shouldn't have. You could have said pretty much any other pickup line would have probably worked better in your favor. Although that is a very straight up like you're just like yeah i want to choke on your tongue like you came right out of the gate real hot she probably didn't even have a mom that passed away from epilepsy she was like wow this dude is just too much and then just kind of like was like no she was probably just trying to get rid of you because you came out of the gate too strong this is a old tinder profile i imagine derek 27 what look at this man he wears that pink suit very well. Is this the Tooth Fairy? Oh, it's Cupid. It's Cupid. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, and Cupid's gonna vacuum for you. That's love right there. You're cute, Cupid. You know, out of some of the profiles I've seen on Tinder, Cupid's probably a better match. Derek is probably a good match. He looks like a genuine guy. Raffi, 25. To girls over 25, I'm a lawyer with two cars and I'm looking to start a family. To girls under 25, I'm hung and breed corgi puppies. Raffi really understands how Tinder works. Katrina, 29. It doesn't matter if you are tall, short, thin, fat, rich, poor. At the end of the day, it's night. Does that mean like you won't even see them anyway? So it doesn't matter what you look like because it's, it's gonna be dark eventually. And I won't have to look at you anymore. I get it. And your sweater's really freaking cool, actually. I kind of like it. About me. Looking for a married woman who was recently cheated on and is super angry and wants to sell her husband's motorbike cheap. Or dating. That's good, too. It's not where I thought of that was going. Or if you want to sell me the motorcycle and then go on a date, we could do that, too. What a weird way to look for a discount on a motorcycle. You smell like trash. Can I take you out? Of course I smell. I shit my pants. Can I get in yours? This is the weirdest attempt at dating I've ever seen. How do you come straight out of the gate with, you smell like trash? What? <laughs> you don't insult people first. I don't know. I don't care what people say about how, like, oh, women like to be insulted and all this stupid shit. No, they don't. You don't come out of the gate like, hey, ugly, you smell bad, but I would really like to date you. Like, it's not a good strategy, but it sounds like it worked, which pisses me off even more. <laughs> Jennifer, 19. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I suck at riding horses, so I ride D. Straight to the point. All right, Jennifer, is that really a picture of you falling off a horse? I don't believe this profile. I believe it was put up there for a joke. And if you go on a date with Jennifer, it's just going to be Steve again wanting to play one-on-one -on -one basketball. Someone just play basketball with Steve one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Nicole, 30. I don't need a music scene to tell me who I am. I know I like to murder dolls of babies. This is not really selling you great. It makes you look a little creepy. I mean, you surround yourself with severed baby doll heads. It kind of sends the wrong message. It's not like, hey, I'm very dateable. I like to rip the heads off dolls. It's more like you're going to do some sort of seance. Like you're going to be sacrificing someone. You're sending the wrong message, Nicole, but you're trying. You're out there. You're getting out there into the dating game. I respect you for it. If you're not a bot, say potato. Hey, handsome, I'm looking to hook up. I have a boyfriend who can't have sex with me due to having erectile dysfunction. Let's chat over email since he checks my texts. Email me at my potato boyfriend has erectile dysfunction. Well, close enough. This one just confuses me. Was she a bot or not? Or was this someone just like making a joke to his, his like test of a I'm confused, which is a very normal feeling for me, to be honest. I'm always a little confused, so I don't know. I need an update. Was it a bot or not? And uh, all right. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> all right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, such an accident.